Jeremy Magneto. And in Captain America, the first Avenger, Chris Evans plays the red, white, and blue wearing, shield wielding super soldier, Captain America. Each of these three movies is meant to launch a whole new superhero franchise. Our goal is to create the greatest army in history. But that could depend on whether they attract an army of summer moviegoers. And right now, we've got even more secrets to reveal about these summer superhero blockbusters. Back with me once again from Entertainment Weekly, senior writer Missy Schwartz and senior editor Tom Geyer. Now, of course, Tom, usually it's the guys who are flocking to all of these superhero blockbuster films. But this time around, you have Ryan Reynolds playing the Green Lantern. Do, do I hear the stampede of women going to a superhero movie this time? I think it's hard to deny the appeal of Ryan Reynolds in a form-fitting suit. Uh, I imagine that there will be quite a few women who are tripping out uh, and trying to get their boyfriends to fill them in on exactly what Green Lantern is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, let's talk about Captain America because, Missy, obviously there's been huge buzz mm. about this film as well. What kind of inside information can you give us here? Well, obviously it's a movie about a regular Joe who is transformed by the military into a super buff fighting hero during World War II. And what's interesting is that um, Chris Evans, who plays uh, Captain America, really had to fight hard to... Uh, get the filmmakers to allow him to play the scrawny guy pre-transformation right. because he felt that it was really important that he do it so the audience could connect with this regular guy before he becomes this superhero. True to his art. Yes. All right, the one I'm looking forward mm -hmm. to most, perhaps, X-Men First Class. Quickly, Tom, what can you tell us about this? Well, this is a prequel, and it's set in the 1960s, so the X-Men are helping the Kennedy administration with the Cuban Missile Crisis, and uh, you've seen Charles Xavier before he was bald and before he was there. Kevin Bacon is making an appearance in this one. I'm dying to see what, what role he's taking on here. Well, I'm sure he's going to provide a whole new layer of, uh, of you know, the Bacon game in terms of the, the very exactly. large cast here. The game will continue. All right, Missy Schwartz, Tom Geyer, thank you both. Well, E.T. is one of my favorite summer movies of all time. And this summer, Steven Spielberg is out with a blockbuster that's got a lot of people wondering, will this be his new E.T., but with a much angrier alien? An eastbound freighter derailed what the cargo was on that freighter. We don't know. I can't tell anyone. Yeah, this E.T. looks like it wants to do a whole lot more than phone home. Super 8 Secrets revealed next. And you know, about the time in the 80s when E.T. was big, the Smurfs were too. And the little blue folks are back in one of the summer family blockbusters. Larry the Cable Guy is hitting the road again in another family blockbuster this summer, Cars 2. Larry is the voice of Mater, the tow truck. This is a special edition of Showbiz Tonight's summer movie blockbusters. I'm Larry the Cable Guy, and I'm telling you right now, Mater has got it made in Cars 2. He's getting into a little bit of international adventure, and I guess kind of getting in over his headlights. Oh, Cars 2, it's going to be good. Bring the kid. Family summer blockbuster, The Smurfs. Welcome back to the special edition of Showbiz Tonight. I'm AJ Hammer in New York. We are teaming up with Entertainment Weekly to bring you the very first look at the summer movie blockbusters and now summer family blockbusters, Super 8 Secrets. Now, this one has a lot of people buzzing. Is this Steven Spielberg's new E.T.? And action! J.J. Abrams' alien action adventure, Super 8, explodes onto the big screen this summer, and when it does, fans might notice some striking similarities to another alien action adventure. Produced by Steven Spielberg, who famously directed E.T., Super 8 also has a boy on a bike and his friends, an alien, a military intervention, and a troubled family. E.T. phone home. Even a young actress with a famous last name. But can Super 8 match the blockbuster $800 million E.T. made back in 1982 and score legions of fans worldwide? Go! We'll let you decide. There really are so many striking similarities between E.T. and Super 8. I do want to bring in Tom Geyer again, Entertainment Weekly senior editor. So, Tom, what do you think from what you have learned at Entertainment Weekly? Will this movie be a whole lot like E.T.? Well, J.J. Abrams has said that he was very much inspired by the early 80s Spielberg films like E.T. And, um, in fact, got to start in filmmaking at that time. He made a lot of Super 8 movies, and so he wanted to tell a story that was very much a coming-of-age story set at that time that 
combines these kind of supernatural elements. So there is this otherworldly creature that uh, these kids encounter. Is it going to have the feel-good vibe that E.T. had, though? Because I still, I think about it and I feel good. I don't know about you. Um, I think everyone loves that movie, and uh, Spielberg himself is a producer on this film, and J.J. Abrams has such a huge cult following from, uh, you know, Lost and from everything else that he's done. What other big summer movie blockbusters for the family can we count on this summer? Well, you're going to see two sequels of uh, some of the biggest animated hits of recent years, Cars 2 and Kung Fu Panda 2. Um, you have Smurfs coming to the big screen with Neil Patrick Harris uh, battling the wee little uh, blue guys. And uh, then you have two talking animal films, uh, Zookeeper with Kevin James as the title Zookeeper and uh, Jim Carrey starring in Mr. Popper's Penguins. And C Can't really go wrong with the talking animals as far as I'm concerned. Of course. So what are you looking, you know, you've had to ch check all of these out. What are you looking forward to the most? I have to say that uh, of these films, uh, Jim Carrey, you have to love him from Ace Ventura and him back dealing with the animals, uh, the, the little uh, um, penguins in Mr. Popper's Penguins, the beloved children's classic. That's the one I'm looking forward to. Fantastic. I'll make sure you get a ticket. Tom Geyer, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And that is it for this very special edition of Showbiz Tonight, Summer Movie Blockbusters. I'm A.J. Hammer. And for more on this summer's hottest movies, make sure you pick up a copy of Entertainment Weekly. You will find it at a new stand near you.